GLP-1 has numerous systemic effects. It comes from the gut, but it signals throughout the body. On one hand, one effect is that it will stimulate to the brain that appetite is, is okay. So it will induce a sense of satiety. Not only is it signaling to the brain to induce this sense of satiety or making the person feel full, it will actually slow down the rate at which the intestines are moving the food. This is something called delayed gastric emptying. In other words, normally you eat a meal and that meal will stay in your stomach for a few hours and then it starts to move further into the intestines, opening the door in a sense for you to feel hungry again. However, when GLP-1 is elevated, it will slow down the rate at which the food is moving through the intestines. So you eat a meal and four or five hours later, that meal is still not fully out of your stomach because it's just trickling out more slowly. So the result of that will be that you feel fuller longer, helping you eat less. Similarly, or even further, GLP-1 actually has an effect at helping fat cells be smaller by directly increasing a process called lipolysis, or the breakdown of fat from fat cells. And of course, the shrinking of the fat cell is fundamental to improving metabolic health. GLP-1 also activates the uptake or the pulling in of glucose into muscle tissue by activating an enzyme called AMPK. Now, there's a lot to say about AMPK, but basically, when AMPK is activated, like what GLP-1 does, it just makes the muscle and other tissues want to start burning energy more. So it starts to pull in more glucose to burn more glucose. It starts burning more fat as well. But if the muscle cell is able to pull in more glucose to burn it for energy, that helps blood glucose levels come down, which helps insulin levels come down. And as insulin comes down, there are myriad metabolic benefits that will follow.